بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عن أبي رقية تميم بن أوس الداري رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدين النصيحة قلنا لمن قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله ولأئمة المسلمين وعامتهم رواه مسلم أبو رقية تميم بن أوس الداري رضي الله تبارك وتعالى عنه ريبوتي that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ad-deen is Ad-deen is nasiha We said for whom He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied For Allah His book His messenger and for the leaders of the Muslims and their masses and their masses a Muslim Nasiha for Allah is to have sincere faith in Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala as he is, as he deserves to be worshipped. To never have any shirk whatsoever when it comes to worship. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Because nasiha means to give good counsel but nasiha here means sincerity uh, to, to have ikhlas when it comes to Allah wa ta'ala when it comes to when it comes to worship him subhanahu nasiha for his messenger is to have to Iman, sincere faith that he is the final and the last messenger of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. And to do whatever whatever he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commands us. And to stay away from whatever he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us, tells us to do so. وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فخذوه ومنهاكم عنه فانتهوا because obeying Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم is obeying Allah من يطع الرسول فقد طاع الله ومن تولى فما أسلناك عليهم وكلا النصيحة for the leaders of the Muslims is to cooperate with them and to obey them as long as they obey Allah and His Messenger. The moment they cease obeying Allah and His Messenger, they have no right to be obeyed anymore. That's why Allah Ta'ala says, أَتِعُوا اللَّهَ وَأَتِعُوا الرَّسُولَ وَأُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ When He says, أَتِعُوا اللَّهَ That means the ta'a of Allah is mutlaq. No exception. وَأَطِعُ الرَّسُولُ الطَعَى أَوْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ So Allah is the name of the Lord. No exception. No limit. Whatever Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam does or says is to be done, is to be fulfilled, is to be obeyed. But when it comes to Ulul Amr, he doesn't say وَأَطِعُ أُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ إِنَّمَا جَاءَ بِوَاوِ الْعَفْرِ وَقَالُ وَأُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ Meaning they do not have independent obedience or independent right to be obeyed. They are to be obeyed so long as they do obey Allah and His Messenger. They don't have wa'ati'u. Allah didn't say wa'ati'u Allah, wa'ati'u Rasul, wa'ati'u lillam. Inna ma'qal, He said wa'ati'u Allah, wa'ati'u Rasul, wa'u lillam. 
So their obedience, ta'atuhum dakhilatun hi ta'ati Allahi wa ta'ati Rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then he say, wa ammatihim al-nasiha for the masses of the Muslims is to consider them as your own brothers and sisters. To see them as you see yourself. To love them as you love yourself. To give them good advice. To help them when they need to be helped. As Jarir ibn Abdullah said, Bay'atu Rasulullah. I made my bay'ah, my covenant with Rasulullah on the observance of salah wa is zakah payment of zakah wa nushi bi kulli giving and giving good counsel to every muslim this hadith is in bukhari and muslim so we as muslims we are one brick or we are one building we're not separated إنما المؤمنون إخوة هذا الله تبارك وتعالى سيس. So a nasiha is one of the greatest um, things one can do because it was the job of the of the of the prophets. The prophets their job was what to give nasiha wa ansahu lakum wa alamu min Allah ma la taalamun wa ana lakum nasiha min as Allah says. In Surah Al-A'raq, when it comes to Hud, Saleh, all these prophets say to their Ummah that I came to give you nasih. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala grant us sincerity with him, sincerity with his messenger, and sincerity for every single Muslim man and woman. And may he accept it from all of us, Ya Rabbi. Hada wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa miqdadi al-awim. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفه السلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel.